I've discovered something sad and slightly embarrassing, and that would be that I'm most likely a puzzle gamer. Now, I bought 9mm uh, in the iPhone App Store because it was 99 cents. Hey, Diesel. He's a good boy. Yeah. Oh, come here. Hey. What are you doing? Hey, say hello. Anywho, I bought a 9mm in the App Store for 99 cents. And I played it for less than five minutes and I was done and I probably don't think I'll ever open the application again. So why is it that I don't like big games? Is it because they're crappy games? No, I don't think so. Is it because the uh, iPhone is a crappy gaming platform? I don't think so. I just think it's because I'm a puzzle gamer and that's really depressing. But I really do love puzzles. I don't know what it is about them. Um, but really, I, I don't know. I'm a console gamer. I play Call of Duty. Okay, I take that back. I'm not a big console gamer. Like, I like playing video games, but it's not my life or anything. But, you know, I like, I play a decent amount of video games, maybe a couple hours a week, maybe two hours a week at most, so not a lot. But, uh, you know, I play a little bit. Why is it that, uh, why is it that non, non puzzle iPhone games and PSP games and other games bore me so badly? Is it because of poor production or what? I just spend $5 on a game and I just end up going back to the 99 cent puzzle game I bought back in 2008 when the App Store came open. You know, I don't know, it's kind of weird. But uh, what are you? Are you a console gamer? Are you a puzzle gamer? Uh, do you like, like real production games like Epic Citadel and Rage and all that other stuff that's on the iPhone? Or are you just sticked into uh, Word's Friends, you know? Let me know. Thanks. See ya. Bye.